as the average gamer we can't help but sit back and wonder will this game actually be um fixed will it be the game that we actually wanted the game that we asked for from ea and every year we have youtubers the major youtubers put out their wish list so right now i thought it'd be cool right before the release of the game to put out my wish list now everything that you guys are about to see are highlights from madden 21 and these are things that i would expect to see in a madden cfm league my biggest thing as you guys always know is presentation giving the player the option to skip or give them the option to have two different play styles you know whether it's limited presentation or full presentation well there's two types of gamers on the madden spectrum those are the the gameplay guys that don't really want to see all those cutscenes. they don't want to see what the injury report is for the 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 previous week they don't want that they just want gameplay but ea makes billions of dollars every year is it too hard to give us both give us the option to skip through those presentational uh pieces in madden and i feel like they should be able to do that so i'm gonna give you guys my list of features that would make cfm from a presentational standpoint better than we've ever seen it uh before in a long time number one halftime show i would like to see scores injuries etc from around the league we've seen this done before from uh nfl 2k5 which i feel like is the goat as far as presentation uh and also even in madden 10 at the end of the week it wasn't necessarily through the halftime show but it showed us different stats and different um elements for presentation that kind of got, got us involved in what was going on around the league uh, number two, highlights from key games and stats from those games during the halftime show. Uh, number three, an option to select which part of the halftime show to watch. Give us freedom to watch a certain part again. You know, just like how they did, I believe it was NBA Live, you know, key player moments, halftime notes, reason why a certain team is losing. Those are the type of things as far as presentation that we would like to see. Yeah. Next up is previews of this week's game of the week or Monday night, you know, preview for a particular team so right in the beginning of a game or in the middle of a game that you're playing you see a small 15 second preview of a game that is highly anticipated that you haven't played yet that they'll show stats or get ready for a monday night you know kind of aspect now we know that cbs and nfl fox and all those licenses could licensing could be expensive for ea they could maybe create their own just like how nfl 2k did uh, <clears throat> and even madden they did it in madden 10 like i said so it's something that they could do to kind of give us a little bit uh, of life into the league next is highlights from your current game you know storytelling and the commentator actually talking about what is happening in that current highlight uh next the tail of the tape you know team comparisons and the com commentator actually mentioning something about the comparison where the the texans have more rushing yards and that's the reason why they're leading in the game and they have more time of possession these are the things that we would like to have in the game and it could be like i said something that they can have an option to where they can, the players can skip it but just having it in the game just creates a different atmosphere in my opinion your halftime hero you know your mvp or you're your, the person that you probably feel like is a halftime slumper you know a star that should be showing out but is being stopped and the reason why they're being stopped you know those are the things that we want in a halftime show give us something give us life bring life to our league and i don't think it's too much to ask my next big bulletin point is pre-game and post-game show oh my gosh like when i tell you this post-game show and the recent maddens have been just dead you got the player walking out of the stadium holding the football they're running out of the stadium with their you know a war cry like that's all cool but that's not the end of it you know that's just the beginning of the surface let's let's tell a story you know we need to there needs to be a build of anticipation different reporters talking about key injuries what preparations each coach set up to prepare for that said matchup what matchup should we be keyed on during the game you know and who needs to stop or contain who if it's two quarterbacks what are their stats this season if it's a playoff game how many wins um, does said player have over the other you know if there's if, if it's a championship game how many times have this player made it to to the uh, the uh, Super Bowl you know those are the things that we want to see pickums 
there this could be a brief kind of it could be even in the low the loading screen pickums a brief lower th third that shows um let's say Stephen a smith or any nfl anchor results of who they think will win the game and it can have four uh pictures of the players of the i'm sorry the anchors and the teams that they picked let's see some pregame highlights the hype from you know the highlights from both teams and music with slow motion that creates excitement or hype before a game and then you know players to watch not just quarterbacks i'd like to see running back stats and cornerback and linebacker stats before a game i want to see how this player is matched up against this team in previous games or maybe even in his career you know what i mean those are the things that create sub storylines and things that we can prepare for and another bulletin is in-game presentation um game breaks you know during the middle part of the first quarter or something within that game that you're playing a scoring highlight and stats from a key game in progress you know a, a actual highlight that you can actually see you know tom brady throwing a touchdown pass to mike evans while you're playing your game somewhere else you know what i mean those are the things that create substance uh division or conference standings during the course of the game i like to know you know what the current standings are in both divisions or even conference remaining schedule for a team if a team is close to getting into the playoffs or close you know or, or, or actually closing out the division maybe they have like the la the last few games of their remaining schedule you know remaining uh if if the schedule was tougher or easier easier sorry commentator you know talking about the strength of the schedule and if they have the possibilities of winning the division based off of the games you see you know uh, advertisements I, I think at one point i forgot what madden it was they had a snickers advertisement you know gatorade nike amazon all these things that the nfl already owns obviously would take some licensing but it just creates a broadcast feel that the nfl you know is already sponsored through in-game stats lower thirds and more in-depth you know in-game stats for example how often a corner a cornerback you know has been thrown to or how many receptions a wide receiver has or how many uh dropbacks hits sacks etc for a quarterback in a game and different presentational packages and what i mean by that is cbs fox espn etc go the extra mile and get these licensings that you if you may need it to create life and bring life into your league bro you know and at the end of the 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 week or the game and the game has been concluded give me a round the league action you know what i mean give me a small video it could be two minutes long a two minute long video and i know the coding can't be too you know far out there for them to do but uh because they've done it before right we always talk about that extra point in madden 10 they've done it before give me a around the league video it could be before all games have been played or after all games have been played whenever a recap of the previous week score highlights injuries etc give me an nfl power ranking presentation you know who are the top 10 teams in the nfl in their current previous power rankings with highlights you know top fantasy performers of the previous week it could be a little lower third ticker you know who dominated in their current week and who you should pick if you're a fantasy owner just to add more depth into the game you know build up for roster changes and talk about ones that have already you know happened this is not just something that somebody's tweeting because half of the time when they they tweet about something in ea you never really get a chance to see it it's not something that creates life in the league you know actual video footage or highlights of a certain player that's thinking about testing free agency you know pre-game post-game interviews with coaches and players draft stories and players who <clears throat> should be you know at the top of certain teams lists so if my you know redskins are last in rushing defense you know for the previous year who should i draft or who is recommended that i should draft coming into you know the rookie draft a scrolling ticker that shows you know upcoming games top passing leaders top rushing leaders top fantasy leaders a certain teams you know remaining schedule tweets from other players coaches and even retired players give me a top 10 plays of the week in this around the league show an award show you know uh, mvp race rookie of the year 
put all this stuff into the game playoffs what are the playoffs looking like look i know i'm ranting i know i'm going on and on but it's a message behind this behind what i'm saying i want a game that is going to rival all madden games and the only way we can do that is if we get a ea's attention share these videos get other content creators to you know talk about the things that matter if we keep talking about stuff that that's, that's going to keep ea in their box we will never have a game that we really want so to end my rant i appreciate you guys for watching the entirety of this video hopefully i broke through to some of you and hopefully you saw some things that you like i'm gonna keep you guys posted as you know we get closer to this madden 22 release but as always guys stay classy